Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. All right, Spirit, who or what is coming towards Cancer in love? Or what is coming towards cancer in love? Okay, we have sweet dreams, fantasy, dreams, imagination. Your dreams are becoming reality. So I feel like whatever is coming your way when it comes to love is something that maybe you've already imagined or dreamed of or something that... I don't know, maybe you've been manifesting in some way. Judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic, a judgment call is being made. Interesting, so this could be um, a decision of some sort or some sort of awakening that someone's experiencing. What I'm getting here with these two cards, actually, let me pull another one here, but what I'm getting here it's almost like um, the outcome of something is exactly what you were hoping for. Let's see. Can I get some guidance, please? For Cancer, who or what is coming towards them? In love spirit. Main male. Masculine energy here. Lovers, wow. So this is regarding some sort of a partnership with a masculine male or a masculine energy. Sorry, not male, masculine energy. Um, gender is not important. Okay, so let's see what this all means with the tarot. Spirit, tell me who or what is coming towards cancer. Spirit, who or what's coming towards cancer? King of Wands could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. Um, this is a doer. This is someone that's very charismatic, natural leader, Eight of Wands. This could be somebody that's communicating with you, sending a message of some sort, or just moving fast. Oh, Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here for Cancer? What's going on? Cancer, let's see what's going on here because I feel like whatever this is with this King of Wands, it's going to either bring about some conflict or it's regarding some sort of conflict here. So let's see. Tell me about this King of Wands. What's this about? Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. Can you get one more for this King of Wands? Three of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like this King of Wands, whatever their action is, which I feel is to kind of meet up with you, come together with you. Nine of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Swords, Eight of Swords. More fear. This person is scared of whatever conversation this is. Um, maybe they're scared of the outcome. Maybe they're scared of the reaction. Maybe they're scared it's not going to go their way. Because I feel like something happened in the past between you and this person. And it's like now they want to come in and do something about it. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands doing here? Six of Wands. Knight of Swords. There's, this is definitely communication. And it's like fast communication or just very honest. 
communication. The lovers, again, Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, this is about your partnership. Whatever this communication is, it's like someone saying, hey, I want this to work. I have the fool at the bottom of the deck. You know, whatever, whatever, moving forward, you know, this is about maybe the future of the connection. But with the Knight of Swords, I mean, I laugh because in this particular deck, uh, the Knight of Swords is someone that clearly the delivery is not the best. It's almost like um, berating or angry or just like, it, it, it feels like this is a terrible exchange that's happening here. Um, so maybe this person is not the best communicator or maybe this is what they fear will happen, that the, that the conversation will take a turn, right? Because I have the Five of Swords here, so maybe, you know, and the Five of Cups. So clearly, something has already happened here in this connection. Or, if this is not regarding you specifically, Cancer, then this is what's happened to them in previous connections. And maybe there's a fear, an underlying fear. What's with this Five of Swords? We'll see. What's this Five of Swords about? Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles, High Priestess. I feel like there's probably um, things that have are unsaid. Um, maybe this is someone who has kept something to themselves, and it's become a weight, or there has not been a lot of communication between you and that has caused some sort of baggage in this connection. Let's see, what's with this High Priestess? Why is the High Priestess here? Knight of Pentacles. Justice, there's Justice, Libra energy. Interesting, with the Knight of Pentacles and Justice, it's almost like, um, and I have the Six of Pentacles here. So I feel like this is someone that wants to take their time and do something right in order to, you know, rebalance the situation or bring back, um, make a, a, um, a final decision of some sort. Why is justice here? I feel like this is important because I have judgment call as well. Why is just judgment? Why is judgment? Why is justice here, spirit? Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Huh, the tower, Jesus. So I feel like this is, something happened between you and this person. I don't know if it was a separation. I don't know if it was a fight. And the, yeah, this could have been a separation. I have the two of cups in the tower. Some, there, there was a disconnect here between you. Maybe uh, communication stopped. And I feel like when this person thinks about making things right or, you know, whatever justice is, getting justice, it's about what happened here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they want to start over in, in some way. Um, you know, it's a Page of Pentacles, but at the bottom of the deck I have a Ten of Pentacles. So it's almost like... This is the goal, you know, eventually to have some sort of long term or something more stable. Let's see. Let's get some insight into this person. Let's see. Can we get some insight into this person that Cancer is connecting with or is on their way to connect with Cancer? Give me some insight into this other person, Spirit. What do we need to know about this other person? Okay, no. What do we need to know? Oh, okay. Honest, sincere, and genuine, and transformation, metamorphosis, and renewal. So I feel like this person is, is, you know what? I'm getting like, they need to come clean is what I'm getting here. They need to be honest about something. Maybe they've gone through some sort of change. Um, maybe this is what they feel they need to do in order to have some sort of renewal with you. Can I get one more? 
intelligent, logical, and analytical. So this person's being, yeah, I do get that. I feel like this is someone that's taking, it, it, it's almost like they're, um, with the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Swords, King of Swords, uh, King of um, Cups here. Um, it's almost like they're looking at this from all angles. Um, even though I feel this is a King of Wands energy type of person, someone who probably is very, um, like jumps into things, likes to go after things, likes to take charge, I feel like that's not really the approach that they're taking this time around. I don't have any other wands here in terms of like court cards. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm picturing that. And I feel it's because there's a fear here. They don't want to mess this up. So let's see what's, what, what is happening next year? Where is this headed or what's happening in the near future here? Spirit, what's happening? Oh, oh, okay. All right, Spirit, tell me where is all of this headed in the near future? Where is all of this headed in the near future? Where is all of this headed? <laughs> Nine of Swords, Six of Wands, okay. Can I get one more? Where is all of this headed? Knight of Wands, okay. There's the there's the wand there's that wands energy. So maybe this oh, and then I have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is somebody who maybe they've done all the thinking, planning, and now it's like go time. But there's fear here. This could even be guilt, remorse. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords doing here? tower again yeah it's almost like they don't want to cause a tower or deal with the tower maybe this tower was very difficult maybe this was something that really shook the foundation of this connection maybe there's no going back from that tell me about this knight of swords knight of swords i feel like they they really are scared of this, this conversation Almost like, um, and this could also be that they feel guilty or remorseful if there was a bad argument, if there was a bad, bad communication that led to a tower, right? That could also be the case here. I do see that as well. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person really, um, they know that they did something here. And it's almost like they know they have to start slow from scratch. Yeah, the fool, exactly. They know they have to start over with you because of whatever happened. I have the five of swords and the moon at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy there. So I feel like there's there's a lot of unknowns here, but I feel like communication could have been cut off for, for a lot of you. And you know, now it's almost like time to open up the lines of communication again. And it could go either way. Tell me about the Six of Wands. There could be a success here. Um, or at least this is what your person desires. Why is the Six of Wands here? The Hangman. I feel like they're daydreaming of this. Why am I getting this energy? Page of Wands. They're thinking about what to do, how to do this. Yep, Ace of Wands. This is all about, I feel, there's a burning desire here um, to, I don't know how to, how to put this into like simple words because it's, it's something I'm feeling. It's, it's, it's almost like this person is really daydreaming, dreaming, fantasizing about success, about a new beginning here. And I feel like there's inner conflict because this is someone that 
wants to like jump in, do something quick, but there's fear as well. It's like this could blow up in my face. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Queen of Cups. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Page of Swords. King of Cups. Hmm. A lot of emotion here. King of Cups, Knight of Cups. Again, this person wants to, they, let's talk about us. Like they want to talk about you and them, your connection. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. So, you know, like, how do we, how do we get this happy ending? Right after that, I have the Seven of Cups. So once again, it's like this person's really imagining and then the magician. Yeah, they're like fantasizing how, how to get this done. You know, like um, daydreaming about you. Daydreaming about, or dream, just dreaming about the future of this connection. You know, having a happy ending with you. But I feel like they really have a lot to come back from. I feel like all they can really do right now is talk to you for some reason. Like I'm picturing a distance. Um, like you're on two different islands. There could be a long distance connection here for some of you. But for others of you, I feel like there's um there's a divide. Let me get some more insights. This could be a tax. Oh yeah. Ace of Cups. There's definitely this person loves you or has a lot of feelings for you. I feel like this was a very um loving and passionate connection or that's where this per what this person wants i have the fool the ace of wands the ace of cups this is new beginnings here page of cups no i'm sorry page of swords page of wands page of pentacles so again with the pages communication but also beginnings just want to get a little bit more insight into this knight of wands because this is the person taking action but i feel like the action is just communication yeah and look what I said. There's the Five of Pentacles. You see how that person's kind of like in this picture, kind of outside looking in. I feel there's a barrier between you. Like like someone's outside looking into a window and this is what they see. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. I don't know if time has passed between, you know, what happened between you and, and now. Um, that was a weird way to say that. But you know what I mean. Like time has passed and there's a divide now. But with Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, um, Page of Swords, there is communication for sure. This person, I feel, wants to be honest with you um, and wants to talk about your connection and, and talk about the future. But there's fear here. I get some more for this Knight of Swords and the Tower. The Emperor, yeah. It's almost like they're scared of what they're going to do or what they have to do. Aries energy here. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a lot of work. A lot of energy here. Because I feel like there was already something difficult that happened between you. This tower. This tower is, is um whatever it was. It really, I feel made it even harder for this person to now, I don't know, come back or bridge this divide, you know, um, bring you back in. And I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's, I have the lovers here, I have this main male. I feel like this person wants you. I'm not sure if you want them. <laughs> I do have the King of Cups, Queen of Cups here though. So maybe the feelings are mutual. Let me know in the comments. But I feel like you're doing fine. Like this I'm picturing as the Nine of Pentacles instead of the Seven of Pentacles. Um, and they're like out looking at you, loving you from afar. That's what I'm getting. Like they're, like they're loving you from afar. Um, I don't know. And for some reason, because of what's happened at now, I know I, I know that I'm like 
sounding like a broken record right now, Cancer. Please forgive me. I just feel like the the message needs to come out. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, there 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 is a, a disconnect between their dreams and reality. So that's what I'm picturing here. I'm picturing someone who is 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 loving you from afar, admiring you from afar, but also daydreaming about not being far from you anymore. And there's fear because that could go either way. They could have this work out for them or you might not be interested at all, you know? It's going to be a risk with the fool. Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing um, or just leaving me a comment saying hi. I'd love to hear from you, um, at least just to know that I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> And I, I really do read most of the comments. I mean, sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming because I have to uh, put up videos, film videos, and I work full time. So it's a little bit hard to keep track of all the comments, but I try to read as many as I can. Um, so thank you to everyone who takes the time out of their day to say hello. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.